rock sliders. So welcome back. Sol322 is back from TMD. New engine oil, new gearbox oil and filter, new transfer fluid, new diff fluid. Everything has been drained out, everything put back in new, fresh, good to go, fuel filter as well. The rock sliders are on and I'll show you what they look like. They look really good. They're very, very heavy. And as they mentioned, it took three people to put them on. Two to hold them up, drill the holes, and basically start ribbing up, nutting everything in place and bolting them in. But they're in, they look really good, pretty happy with them. It went down there to try and get those Pro Speed bash guards fitted. Now, they've had a go at it and they won't fit. Now, there's some nuances in saying they won't fit. The plates themselves line up with all of the holes where it mounts to the subframe, both on the front and on where the transfer box is. The bracketry for the transfer box lines up. The problem is there's a big bar that holds the front of the sump panel to the back of the subframe. And because I've got the 4.4 TDV8, I have a massive DPF filter on it. And so the bracketry around the back of the sump guard interferes with the DPF filter and so it won't install and you cannot put the transfer guard on unless you've got the sump guard on they basically join up so I'm not one to accept defeat easily and I'm now talking to a company called Dirt Monkey they're up in Rotherham Luke has a, uh, a V6 3.6 V6 those bash plates were made for the V6 3.6 engine so we're going to start looking at how, do he, how does he take those original plates, mount them to his vehicle, and then look at mine and see what we can do to uh, not necessarily copy it, but make a version that will fit the 4.4 and get around the mounting of that DPF filter. Now I suppose you can go down the route of getting rid of the DPF filter or moving it, I don't want to do that. I, ju I just don't think it's necessary to do it at this point. I think there are other alternatives and a really good fabricator will be able to solve this problem. Now it could be that the plate itself might need to be modified. It could be that the bracketry around the back needs a new one fabricated to be able to get the DPF filter in. I'm not sure, but Luke is up for the challenge. And so sometime probably in the next week, I will put these bash plates in the car, drive up to Rotherham, and then see what we can do over the coming weeks. A few other things, the crash damage. I bought a spare headlight second hand, and this is more me. I didn't realize the second hand one that I bought was not adaptive. So when you plugged it in, although it's working, it doesn't have the adaptive headlights that move either way. So I've got a warning light on. The, the spare one that I bought, I got a new lens for. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the original adaptive one off, buy a new lens which has the attachment points, take it back to the guy that put the new lens on the second hand one I bought, and then go down that route. I'm not done with Richmond Land Rover specialists yet. Um, they could be footing the bill for a brand new one, which those of you who know about these adaptive headlights, they're north of 1700 quid for a brand new unit. So we'll see where that goes. But at this point in time, the old one was already taken out. TMD took it out. I'm gonna get a new lens, switch everything over and put it back in so the adaptive headlights all work. We should be good to go and then see what happens about getting a brand new replacement. Um, just some of the clips that hold it to the front of the crash structure are broken. So hopefully we can sort that out. I am out of here in another 10 days time on Easter Sunday. I am on a ferry back to Spain and I've planned a route that will take me through a small national park in just north of, um, or just sorry, south of Santander and 
then I'm going to go all the way down to Castelo Branco, jump on some of the trails which borders Portugal and Spain, and then move over to the coast south of Lisbon and then do all of the sand trails right the way down to Segres. And it's a couple of hundred, I think it's about 150, 200 kilometers from uh, Setubul, which is just south of Lisbon, all the way down to the bottom of the coast. So I'm going to be doing that. The tent will be going on. I will be heading down to Wales tomorrow. I will be putting the frame back in with all of the Red Vision system. I will be hooking that up. I'll do a video on that. The inverter will get plugged back in and then we'll fire up the 100 amp hour lithium battery I've got in here and see how all that works. But all of it's wired up in the back here. It's a bit of a mess at the moment with cables. I just need to get the frame back in and we should be good to go with that. The rooftop tent will go back on and for the first time that will sit in the frame on the roof rack. We'll see how that looks and how that goes. I might need to move the frame around a bit. I think I've got it measured up okay but it needs to go on and we need to have a look at that. So by the end of the weekend I should be good to go and then get into vehicle prep mode ready for packing everything up and leaving here on Easter Sunday and then off to Spain or Portugal again. This one will probably be about two uh, a week for me. We're going to take a couple of weeks off, We're going to sort of do some R&R &R down in Portimao and then we'll figure out whether we spend an extra week or not. Um, and then I will probably do the reverse route of what I did when I went in January, which means I will head over to Valencia, work my up, way up through the dry riverbed. I might go down the opposite way and then go to the Monograss Desert, up through the Pyrenees and then back to Bilbao or Santander and then back home. But timing will be the essence of that one and we'll see how we get on. So anyway, apologize for no uh, videos last week. The vehicle wasn't around, but the good news is another trip coming up or videos. This one will be a long trip, as I mentioned, one week first, probably about eight or nine days of videoing. Take a break and then do the videoing on the way back. And I will try and attempt to do a daily video. And whether I put it all together in a single video once a week or do them each day, don't know. It all depends on how quickly I can get everything edited and how quickly I can get access to really good 4G networks, which is the big problem when you upload big files. When you're talking, you know, 10, 12, 18 gigs worth of data being uploaded on a cell phone. Yeah. So these are the rock sliders. And they are attached to the original fittings where the plastic trim goes here. So if you look at yours, if you don't, obviously you won't have these, but you can see where the plastic trim goes and then these are M8, they're M6 on here, and so you have to drill these out and insert the rivet nuts. And these go into the factory mountings. These are really strong. And you told me it took three of them to get them lifted up and bolted in. But as you can see here, all stainless steel fixings. But these are very, very strong. And apparently, you can put a high lift jack mount in here and jack the car up. We'll attempt to see what that looks like. I might just tempt, uh, try that when I get to Spain. Weather's well, a bit better than it is here. And as I mentioned before, the front mud guards had to come off, or the mud flaps had to come off. And so I took those off a couple of weeks ago. And then I just found these bungs, these plastic bungs off of Amazon and just inserted two of those. And honestly, you really can't see the holes that were made there and as I mentioned before I have a couple of spare ones of these these just need to be painted up I do plan on taking the rear mud flaps off I think it looks a bit silly now with the fronts off and the rears on these are quite simple they're just two or three of these insert nuts and they should come off and if there is any holes I've still got some more of those plastic clips but the profile of the rock slide themselves it's not that bad from the side of the vehicle they do provide a step these are not any further out than the steps so if you have factory steps these are exactly the same they do not protrude any more than the vehicle love 
is. And as you can see here, quite muddy. It needs to be put in. But they're very, very strong. you agree that looks pretty factory. Whilst the factory didn't produce rock sliders, that's going to provide an awful lot of ramp over protection. They do go in quite a way and I've got some rock lights that I'm going to install across the bottom. So up under here there is a couple of channels and I'm going to put, I've got two magnetic uh, rock lights that are going to go on either side. I'll show you what that looks like when I do another video on this walk around I'm going to do for you. You can see these are really substantial. Now the great thing is parking here in the car parks, especially when you go shopping, no bastard is going to be opening their car door on mine because the first thing that's going to happen is that's going to destroy their door. We've seen plenty of that happen around here recently some bird has decided to shit all down the side of my window. Oh. But it's coming along. I'm really happy with it. Yeah. We're getting there. So that's the rock sliders. They're on, no bash plates, but the build continues. So that's a quick, quick update. I will do some more videos this weekend, as I said, and then start posting those. You'll start seeing those coming through in the next couple of weeks or so. There'll probably be a quiet period when I'm on my way down to Spain and I can get a couple of videos recorded, ready to go see what that looks like but with that thanks for watching if you like the video like the video if you don't and you must your choice and please subscribe the channel is getting more subscribers by the day which is phenomenal but I do know that close to 70% of people who view this aren't subscribed so I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification many many videos of this thing off-road will be coming in the coming weeks Thanks very much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.